Soldier Rock and Roll here at another wedding and an update to the book, Planet from Mars, Why Women Love My Penis. It's been a while since I did an update on the this playlist, but coming to family events certainly gives you a lot of material. Now, probably every family has those cousins or those in-laws or those relatives that are really jerks. You know what I'm talking about? Jealous ones or competitive ones for no reason at all. And my advice for those types of situations is just keep your distance and ignore them. Just do the best you can. Focus on your family, focus on your goals. <sighs> and try to avoid any of the negative energy that comes from being around these jerks. I'll give you an example. I'm at a two day wedding here and these are my, my, my wife's family's in-laws, whatever, relatives. And look, um, there's 400 people here. And this, you know, it's very a minor, very minor thing, but it, it, ma it makes a huge impact. So the couples, whatever, whoever organized the wedding has assigned seats. And um, we sat in our assigned seats the first day. We get here on time for the start of the second day. And these jerk in-laws or whatever relatives obviously got there early and took our seats, changed tables and took our seats. Um, who knows why, right? Did they just want to be all together? Were they trying to C block us? Who knows? But that's not a big deal, except that now we're trying to find out where do we sit. So we try to think about where they were sitting yesterday, which is just the next table over. And we sit in their seats or as best as we can. And then the people that were sitting next to them come and realize that there's new people here and they can't find their seats because maybe we're o or over by one seat. So, you know, it's just very nerve wracking and just distracting and just, it's just so stupid, right? Like, and you just look and you say like, why did you take our seats? It's just so stupid. Why, why would you do that? You know, and especially at a, a celebration, at a wedding, when, you know, it, you're here to celebrate the uniting of two people, two lovebirds, hopefully, right? <laughs> For the rest of their lives. And people who are your relatives, or not by blood to me, but at least to the family, you know, family relations, in-laws, that they would behave like that. It's just, it's just asinine, right? So again, really the bottom line is try to just separate yourself from these people and really, even if they're not your relatives, any negative people in your life, because this is a repeated, repeating pattern. You know, if it were to ha have happened once and they apologize profusely, you would think, okay, well, it's a one-off thing, but this is a repeating pattern of behavior. And you'll see that, you'll see that right away. You can tell when people don't apologize, when people um, try to either take advantage of you or they, they're rude to you for no reason or they're disrespectful. And these are all just examples of what uh, has occurred here today. So I'm Holy Joe Rock and Roll. And remember, whoever you marry, you're marrying their family, that other families, you know, that your, your mate's family. Um, not, not in a literal sense, but the relationships, you're going to be in touch with these people. You're going to be in contact with them. So essentially, you're, you're, essentially you are involved. So choose wisely. Or MGTOW, baby. MGTOW. All right, but MGTOW only goes so far. It's not a strategy that I necessarily recommend, but I do appreciate the, the rationale behind that. And I'm going to do another video on MGTOW a little more deeper. My understanding of it, what people are talking about it as, and the pros and cons. Until next time, this is Holy Joe Rock and Roll. Men are from Mars. Why Women Love My Penis. It's all in the book. Take care.